Hello guys, this time I'll be showing a war play from our clan, the Looney Beavers, versus another clan. As you can see right now, I'll be showing a war play of Funky Fresh attack on HYY. This is actually a very good attack because he went with like a go wipe strategy. And as I can remember, he'll be placing two giants right here to lure out the clan castle troops. As you can see, the clan castle troop is going to kill his giant. And then he's going to be place, placing like an archer here, I think, to bite out the clan castle troops to come here. And then right now, he'll be play, placing his clan castle troops, his dragon. And then placing his archers and wizards to take out the dragon. But unfortunately, we don't really know why he didn't put down a poison spell. Because if he put down a poison spell, there are chances that his um, dragon would have lived. But yeah, as you can see, this will also be a 3 star as I showed you earlier. And right now, he'll be putting his P.E.K.K.A.s after all the, the, um, all the other troops around it has been destroyed so the P.E.K.K.A. doesn't get distracted. So the P.E.K.K.A. goes right to the middle compartment. Once when the P.E.K.K.A. reach this compartment, the P.E.K.K.A. is literally OP because then the P.E.K.K.A. is going to be smashing through your base. Since right now the P.E.K.K.A. is tanking, the wizards will be going in. And right here, I do not know why he put a um, poison spell, which was quite always. Oh, wait. The Barb King was here, so he must have put in the poison spell for the Barb King. Well, as you can see right here, the troops down here is roaming and destroying his base. He also had three archers left. I mean, three wizards left, I miss said. And then I'm pretty sure he's going to put the wizards around here. After the Pekka and Golem go further in and distract all the defense. Or he'll just be putting the wizards here and the, while the Pekka goes around for the other stuff. As you can see, right now, I'll be looking uh, very good. And I'm pretty sure, or actually, it is a 3-star because it's a replay that I saw. And, yeah, as you can see, he the placement was actually very good because the golems were tanking throughout the whole raid. So And he still has several wizards, so his placement was really good. And, yeah. So this was a guaranteed 3 star because of his awesome placement and a call to Funky Fresh for a nice attack even though we lost the war. And right now, it's going to be a 3 star in right now. And so yeah. Well, as you can also see, in my army camp, I'll, I'll have 30 giants, 3 healers, and 2 wizards. And I'll have... um. Oh wait, my spells are not trained yet. Well, we still can go in with our spells. Well, as you can see from our clan castle, we have one archer max, two wall breakers max, five wizards max, and one haste spell, level three. Right now, I'll be going right into a raid, and I hope it's gonna be pretty good. If we don't do pretty good, well, well, kind of because we didn't bring any spells and our spells weren't trained. Well, also, as you can see from my, my base right now, um, I have, I'm have i trying to max out all my mortars to level 6 because um, I max out all my traps right now. Um, I max out my um, bombs, my giant bombs, my skeleton trap, and my air bomb and my seeking air mine. The only defense or traps that I didn't max out was my Tesla, which I'm going to do very soon. Hopefully, I'll be done maxing out near the next video as you can see this video came out pretty late but i'll make up for it with a next video coming out like um the next day or another day after on saturday right now i'll just be talking and waiting for this rage spell to be done training and yeah and right now i'll be hopping into one of my defense as you can see this guy named el shop Chapo raided me, thinking that I had loot in my collectors, which I didn't. And I still somehow won against a Town Hall 9. And he was in gold 1, which had a big advantage. So he zapped my mortar and went full on in on this side, thinking that I had loot in my collectors. Well, that was actually a very bad placement for the witch, because the witch just got um, 
killed by my cannon right away, like literally instantly. And then push in, but um, this person still got like one 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 hundred thousand glue of elixir, which is still a lot to turn back some of his troops. But he wasted a bunch of dark elixir. As you can see, since he has this much archers, they could easily um destroy my troops. But my wizard tower here is a beast. And then later he puts an archer here to get a little bit more of that elixir. I mean elixir. Um, yeah. As you can see, he ran out of Archer, and then this, and then he he just figured out he messed up on a Town Hall Eight, which he would be really ashamed of. But since he didn't had full army, I think, no, he did have full army, but not full um spells. So it wasn't really his fault because he didn't had full spells. He only had one lightning spell, which wasn't really his fault. And right now, um, the arch the last Archer died, so our troop won, and yeah. As you can see, this base is going pretty, so far so good. We aren't really winning much of our defenses, but as you can see, they don't really get that much loot besides Dark Elixir and um, Elixir. Besides for gold, they don't really get that much. As you can see from down here, I won some um, defense. Another defense I'll show you is this one from Fernad Fernando. This guy did an okay job, right to me. He's, he, 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 I think, yeah, he was another fellow Town Hall 8 member, which raided me. He got an okay amount of loot, but I'm pretty sure it's not enough to trade back all of his troops. As you can see, he went full on giant here. But what he should have done was place like one or two giants, and then place like two wall breakers to destroy the wall. Because right now, the giants are getting killed while attacking my walls. So it's not really that good. That was a great tip, in my opinion, if you want to do a giant raid. And other good raiding shot. Oh, wait, as you can also see, I have a, I have a fellow P.E.K.K.A. here who can one-shot them. They were just one-shot them. But our P.E.K.K.A. got wrecked by their archers and a bunch of their barbarians, which was quite sad. Well, as you can also see, great raid strategy is like, um, like my last video. Um, if you didn't see it yet, go check it out. It's great. Um, great raid strategies are like um, 25 giants, 2 wall breakers, 23 archers, and 12 wizards, and your barb king, and 1 rage spell and 2 heal spell. They're very good. They, I'm pretty sure they guarantee a 1 star when I use it. And I get li almost all the loot when I use it. Right now, I'm trying a new strategy with um, 30 giants, 2 wizards, and 3 healers. I'm trying if it works, because I'm, uh, I'm trying to make the giant go in, take out all the air defense like these, and then go for the defense. Well, and once when the giant takes out the air defense, I deploy my healers, so I don't really need a heal spell. And then since I have um, backup troops with these wall breakers and stuff, they'll destroy... To destroy the walls while the wizards with the wizards with my wizards um are the cleanup troops so i'll be deploying my wizard last or if i think i need to deploy it right away then i will as you can see um i'm i got my max raid spell which i'm still excited about and i'll be dropping the raid right now Hello guys, welcome back, and as you can see, I spot this Town Hall 7 with one air defense out here. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get 3 star, but then, but then I'll, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get all the loot. The, mo ma the main reason why I'm not going to get 3 stars is because I never tried this combination ever in my life. As you can see, I'll be just be spamming all my giants here because I don't have any wall breakers. And then I'll be placing my wall breakers here. And I'll be placing one wizard. And be placing a ray spell. So they can take it out. And I'll be deploying my healers. To heal my giants. And hopefully, yep. They're healing the big group. And as you can see, my plan here is just to push to the middle. And yeah. Just let them quickly push there. Before my healers get wrecked. 
Like literally, before they get wrecked, like a bitch. Well, sorry for my um words. I just used it. I didn't really mean it, but yeah, like that. In my opinion, that was the only word that could express it. And yeah, as you can see, this base is going very good. I mean, this raid. Sorry. And I'm pretty sure I didn't get all the loot, but I'm just waiting for it to waiting to deploy this wizard. And yeah, if you like this video, comment on what video you want to see next. Or if you want to or if you or you can leave a comment video to ask me a question like how do you figure out this or how do you change your name color? And yeah. And as you can see, I'll rage up my Barb King. Put down a uh, wizard quite soon. But not yet, not exactly yet. And I'll be deploying a wizard right now. To clean up this side. As you can see, I'm I might get a three star, but I don't really have much cleanup troops. See, that's the problem with. So if your giant, so if your giants can't kill the troops quick enough, then you won't even you won't, you won't have any cleanup troops if all your wizards die. But at least I'm gonna get all the loot, or I hope so. Another good range strategy is. Like really, they're really good. You can do like rage spell or lightning spell. In my opinion, they both work very well. And you can see my king luckily lived with that less HPU. They're really good. Or you can go with a go wipe attack. Even though they cost some dark elixir. By some, I mean like nine hundred, which is a lot. Even though they cost a lot of dark elixir, it's worth because it guarantees a one star. Just guarantee. I used to use it a lot in war, like last time. Like, before I started making videos. And, well, I'm pretty sure I'm not getting a 3-star now. Those builder huts. Great. Well, I don't really mind. At least I got all the loot. So, in my opinion, this raid was really worth. As you can see, just one builder hut lived. If only my wizard didn't target that wall down there. Hmm. Well, right now, I'll be requesting for more troops to to use for my next video and I'll be collecting all my collectors again and yeah mm. or if next or next time if you want me to use a special strategy just so you can see if it works then leave in the comments below you you can tell me use any strategy you want you can even tell me use form wizards um, I may do it to see if it works and tell you if you should use it or not, depending on how they clean up the um the base, if they can even push in, if they can get all the loot, and if they can three star. Well, in my opinion, if you have max wizards and you deploy them very properly on a base like mine, it's a guaranteed three star. Actually, a guaranteed one star. Pretty sure it's a guaranteed three star. And yeah. As you can see right now. Our clan is in a war. We're, we're against the OS noobs. And I hope we're going to win this war. As you can see, I'm not in the war because I don't really like the war. Because, because if you see, look, um, I'm right here. Because if you see, or I'll just show you my profile. Because if you see that, we, I use like my full-on troops in my Alexa. And I use my Alexa, like 200,000 Alexa and like 1,000 Alexa for go wipe. And, I, and we don't win the clan war. And I win my raid, then I won't be getting the bonus loot, which which is the really, which is like the main reason why we really raid. So we get more loot in return because of the bonus. As you can see, I'll for next video, I might do a Clash Royale video because a guy named Legend, it looks like he really wants me to do a Clash Royale video, so I will. But. It's going to be for the next video, and for the next video in Clash Royale, I'm pretty sure I'm going to show you my deck, how to use it, and yeah, or and how to use other decks, and is it really good to use a spawner deck, or how you be an expo user, how you be a spawner deck, like those topics. I'm, I used to be a spawner deck in Clash Royale, which is kind of a shame. I'm, I still kind of use it now, only sometimes, which I'm still ashamed for, because spawner deck is just cheap, and if you use a spawner deck, you're basically just ruining the other person's game, unless they can somehow wreck you, even though you're using a very cheap deck. 
The cheapest deck, in my opinion, is the Expo, because the Expo, you don't really need any skills. You just deploy an Expo, and then you just put, like, a defensive troops or any troops in front of it to tank while your Expo literally just um, pick down their enemy crown tower health. Well, right now, I'll be showing another replay of my attack on Jiten. I didn't really get much loot with this strategy, but you can see it's also another Town Hall 7, but you can see that I mainly messed up. I'm, yeah, I deployed, I deployed it here. I, I meant to like bring it in all on here, but in the minute I saw the Clan Castle true, I freaked out and just put down my poison spell. And then I killed my whole attack. But I still got a 81% and a 2 star, which is still very good. It, this would, this raid would have gone a lot better in my opinion if I deployed my Bard King a lot earlier. My wizards, this part, so my Bard King can push in better. Because yeah, my Bard King just goes around now and just be a little dick, and just come, just suicide. But then the good part is that that air defense is down, but that air defense is not, which literally killed my whole oh, wizards. Uh, not wizards, sorry, um, healers. As you can see, my mouth is just messing up on me now. So, yeah. This raid was very good. And is very good. But then, I didn't really get all the dark... No, I did get all the dark, but I didn't get like all the elixir. Because my wizard died. And it was only left to my... No, wait. Did I get any loot? Yeah, I did. Because of this wizard. Right now, I'll be speeding it up because it's quite boring right now. And then my gi um, giants go down, and then, yeah, my wizards, I'm uh, not wizards, oh my god, my giants destroy all the defenses, and then got that, that, um, gold collector, not gold collector, I'm um, gold storage, and then destroy town hall, and got the dark elixir, and got a little bit more gold, and then the bar came, had to be a dick, and came over and distracted my whole group. But I, I still got a lot of the loot. I just didn't get any of the Luxor, though. No, yeah, I did. Yeah, I just didn't get that part of the Luxor. Which is still good. Okay with me. And then, yeah, see, this is actually a pretty good raid. But then, if you're in Town Hall 7, you should use this. It's very, very good. If you want to request for any troops in your CC, you should request for wizards. Or any cleanup troops. Because there is... In this strategy, there's not much cleanup troops. You can use great strategies that a lot of people use. You can use um max dragon, not max dragon. You can use full dragons, full um full pekka. Full pekka works, but not that great, but it works. Um, you can use go wipe. Go wipe is the best I ever use. You can use full hog riders, but then you have to make sure hog riders are level four and up, or it's not that efficient. Or you can use balloonian. I, or I think that's what's called is uh what's where you use like mainly balloons and some minions. The balloons will clean um destroy all the defenses while the minions clean up. These are also very good strategies that I would recommend. But if you don't like to use these strategies, just like go with classic strategies, then you should just use barbarians because if you use barch, it's good. But then there's really no point of using barch if all the, if mainly all the collectors are outside like this. What's the point of using barch when you can just use barbarians? Like if you if you you can just use like um like forty barbarians here, it'll take out those forty barbarians here. No, thirty barbarians here. Yeah, it works. And then you can spam all the but all the rest of the barbarian on one side, it'll go in for sure. Or just on or on both sides equally spread out. Those are very good strategies. But if you want to use cheaper, then you can just use goblins. Goblins, yeah, that's right. I said goblins. But then goblins are not that efficient if there's um collectors are on the inside. Because your goblins does no damage unless it's to um anything to do with resources. So yeah. As you can see, um, my all my dark elixir stuff spells are level ones beside minions. Yeah, I if, I don't know why, but I choose chose to max out my minion first because I heard that's gonna look very cool, and it actually is. It's like it's like it's like purple bluish. If you don't know what it looks like, I'll train one right now, and I'll show you in forty five seconds. It actually looks very sweet and cool. Like it's it's the 
it's like literally the best, but the sad part is that no three and four minions actually looks the same. So yeah. When I got level three minions, I was so excited on the look on like dark bluish, I think. But then when I when I got to level four, I was even more excited. But then when I figured out that it looked the same, I wasn't really that excited because that ruined everything. And yeah. If you like this video, please leave in a comment on what you want for the next video in a little bit of details. Like, if you want me to play Clash of Clans, tell me what base reviews and stuff. Or if you want me to play Clash Royale, tell me cards and stuff or BTD on what you want me to use. Or, yeah, if this video is go very great, I might just do another Clash of Clans video. But most chance I might just start another series called Clash Royale. And, yeah. And if I kind of feel like it, I'll do BTD because so far, my the cards I use for BTD or the monkeys I use for BTD are Monkey Apprentice, um, Ninja Monkey, and Monkey Sub. As you can see, this is the minion right now, right here. Looks very cool, in my opinion. And I'm pretty sure your opinion looks so cool. And if you're ever wondering on why I do these decorations around this. Is because it's the first Xmas tree I got in 2016. And yeah, right now, I'm pretty sure that does it for my video. If you like, please subscribe. And yeah, if you like, please subscribe. Please share. Please leave a thumbs like and comment, please. Because I really like to hear your thoughts and your comments. And if you don't like, leave a thumbs down. But please don't leave m rude comments. Because it because rude comments won't really help my channel grow. And it's not nice to say to others. Because r saying rude comments is saying that's how, they want, that's how you want them to treat you. So I'm pretty sure that's not how you want the other person to treat you with rude comments. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And Peace.